Hey, what's up? It's Chad Landis. I just want to record a quick little vlog to um, talk about a recent uh, ketchup challenge I had my friend do, as well as this marathon I did at NASA at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Um, so first, I'll start with the, the uh, marathon real quick. Um, basically, I was able to get access to a marathon that's exclusive within NASA. Uh, I was able to get into security uh, locations that typically you're not allowed to get into. So it's pretty cool. I was able to get pictures and stuff like that as well. Uh, if you Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. You would have seen it uh, live, basically, as it was happening. Uh, posted it as I took the pictures and videos. It was pretty cool beans. But uh, in any case, it was raining. It was about 60 degrees out, and it was really early in the morning. The start time was at 6, 7 a.m. is when we met up uh, to get ready and start off in the day. So uh, that was really early for me, considering the fact that I usually go to sleep around like 6 or 7 a.m. right now. Side note, go and get that sleep schedule fixed. But anyway, it was really cool. Uh, we did go ahead and uh, ride all the way through. We saw the VAB, which is, I think it's like Vehicle Assembly Building, something like that. Uh, but it basically has a record for the world's largest doors. And uh, on the side of the building, it's this giant uh, gray like structures. Looks like it's uh, paneled. But those are giant doors that go all the way up to the top of the building because um, you have to get the shuttles in and out of those, basically. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. I was able to see some launch pads and stuff like that as well. Uh, there's also this giant shuttle transport vehicle, which was really awesome. Uh, the, basically, the wheels were like as wide as my house per per like track side of the freaking vehicle. It's crazy. Um, but it was really cool. Um, halfway through the marathon, there was like a rest stop sponsored by SpaceX. Actually, uh, they gave us some more drinks. And like granola bars and bananas and stuff like that just to make sure we're good to go for the rest of the marathon so it wasn't like a race marathon it's more just a hey look at nasa and also do the length of a marathon kind of deal but uh there's still kind of time constraints because if we didn't finish it within four hours we kind of were being gonna get escorted off of the uh premises kind of deal so that's kind of cool but uh, we got to see some of the spacex construction going on out there because they ran out of, like a location of the king space center basically um to build their own like launch sites and stuff like that. Uh, we went all the way to the beach nearby because uh, basically we went all the way from, uh, it started at the visitor center actually, went all the way through to security checkpoints and then through all the way to the back end of it, which is where the freaking beach is. Uh, of course, also blocked off on the side by security, but it was really cool. Uh, the only problem is it started raining again because it rained in the morning before we started the bike ride, but uh, it stopped right when we started basically, so that was cool. But then, like, halfway through, it started drizzling. Uh, ran pretty good amount uh, for about that second to third quarter distance, I guess. Uh, but it's all right. There's also this giant, like, container that held, like, liquid nitrogen. So even though it was raining, I just want to get a quick picture of that because that's freaking awesome. Um, but that was just such an amazing experience. I thought it was great. Um, but we finally finished it, made it to the end. It was weird, though, because they served pizza at the end of the... Um, course or race or marathon or whatever you call it um so that was interesting i had pizza because it's free pizza but it felt like it wasn't right <laughs> you know um but whatever it was so cool but afterwards i went home took a shower um it was really all sticky and stuff because the rain right next to the beach was all salty and all sweaty and oh man it was gross and i had to drive all the way home so it took a while but it was all good made it all the way um but then i went to actually Drove out to Orlando to meet with some friends because they were meeting up so for some kind of like it was a Pokemon trading card game regionals tournament, which is a pretty big tournament. Um, so I had some friends that play that still, and I wanted to go meet up with them. It was really cool beans. Uh, we also play this card game called uh, Boss Monster, which was awesome. If you ever have a chance of playing Boss Monster, go for it. It's a four player game and tons of fun. You're actually like the villain, you build like a dungeon, and you have to like kill the heroes from the town so you're like the villain you gotta be a better villain than the other people are villains uh, your other players um and you can like use spell cards to like disrupt people or help your dungeon and blah blah blah, blah. cool beans though it's good 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 game uh but anyway after that we went to dinner to this really cool place it's called the oblivion tap room if you're ever in orlando go ahead and check that place out because it's delicious um great burgers they have sweet potato tots which are del like oh my god i never had sweet potato tots before and it blew my mind and i had like this cinnamon sugar covering on it oh dude it's so good um it has like some craft beers and stuff like that too and they have a huge assortment of craft beers it's so good too um but anyway we're doing we're playing a game with like would you ever and we're like asking crazy questions to each other just as like you know fun little group of friends um 
asking crazy questions. There's great answers too, but one of them was, would you ever eat an entire bottle of ketchup for $400? Specifically the one that was on table. Um, the person who was asked actually was like, nah, I wouldn't do it. But another guy at the table said, yeah, I'd do that. And I was like, really, you'd eat that entire bottle of ketchup? It's like this giant thing, like freaking like bigger than my hand. Um, 20 ounces of bottle of ketchup. And he's like, yeah, I'd do it, sure. All right, do it. <laughs> I freaking challenge him to do it. I, I was like 50-50. I didn't know if he was going to do it or not, but I knew that I would commit to paying out um, if he did it because that's crazy. And he could decide about it for a while, like 10, 15 minutes. He's like, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to freaking do it. So he did. And my God, 45 minutes later, he finally finished the ketchup. And what we I found out after he started the challenge was it wasn't just regular like Heinz ketchup or something. It was actually like, it was called hot ketchup, which is a special thing that they do where they mix like little grounds like pepper in the uh, ketchup. So it wasn't like spicy, but it gave that a little bit of like a smoky pepper flavor to it as well. And but they also had those little grinds in it. And oh my God, if you drink all of that ketchup and the grind just keep going in, uh, it's so gross. I could not do it. I'm like cringing thinking about me doing it and I wouldn't want to, but it was hilarious watching my friend Chris do it. And um, actually at the end of this vlog, it's going to have some video footage of Chris doing the challenge. And it's a little bit loud because it's a lot less here because it's basically like a bar and grill it's a tap room. Um, but you can still hear us having a good time. So hopefully you enjoy it. So watch that footage and catch the live streams as well. I'm going to be streaming possibly earlier than the 8 p.m. Eastern time start time. I want to start going at like 6 p.m. Uh, so look to that start time potentially going earlier, but uh, guaranteed 8 p.m. still, just as usual. See ya! Hoodie and everything. <laughs> Can't even finish like that. Yeah, that was one bite. That was like a minute and a half. You're like, <laughs> you're, you're noticeably sweating. Like, you're it's so, so gross. Like, like I, I don't even mind it. That's like the worst taste, like, ever. <laughs> but it's so, it's like this ketchup, too, for some reason. I don't know why. That almost made me gag just watching you, like, <laughs> it's <all I'm> like <laughs> proud reaction. <laughs> yeah, you're not helping. <laughs> Oh my god. It's 400 bucks, man. You gotta finish it all. He said 400. I'm like, the steak's a race. <laughs> <laughs> you get used to it. I gotta puke every time I take a bite. It's just gonna... <laughs> I know. Just chug I need it. More water. <laughs> You still have a half a cup left of water. You just drink it. Yeah. We Gucci. You know, I don't need to take the lid off. I do it. Just screw it up. Yeah, that's actually faster than lid off. You got this. You're gonna be so sick tomorrow. He's in the zone. I know. Jeremy playing the music tomorrow. Or you're just gonna be sweating ketchup. <laughs> Chris, are you bleeding notch as the ketchup coming out? <laughs> you guys need to be quiet, it's not fair. <laughs> it's so <still> heavy. It's <laughs> <laughs> had like two ounces. <laughs> nah, he's, he's had like he's had like three or four ounces of it. That was a whole water. <laughs> you poured out about four ounces worth. Is that what you're looking It's like a quarter down. What? Oh, yeah. yeah. Napkins right here. <laughs> uh, but I want the white napkins. <laughs> the better for <laughs> You just need to be quiet. <laughs> Iron Tiger. Got this. You know how just hard it is to pick this up and be like, <laughs> fuck, it's so heavy still. Still. <laughs> liquidy it is. It's the worst. <laughs> my like body's ready to puke before I even put the ketchup in my mouth. It's my like... Ready to <laughs> just knowing it's happening. Don't He's... look at me. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make me laugh. That makes it worse. We're enjoying this a little bit too much. <laughs> yeah. No, this is the best moment of my life. What are you talking about? 
the instant transition to water. It's not smooth. <laughs> You'll start realizing the little grittiness to the ketchup. <laughs> the water to ketchup ratio isn't going to work out. Okay, ketchup was top notch. <laughs> <laughs> top class ketchup. If I, if I finish this ketchup, I'm gonna drink the whole damn thing for the pain of having to watch me eat. Yeah, solid. Can I suggest investing in all of it? No. I like it. I like look into your soul and I'm like, I don't you know, you probably wouldn't really want to do this. I don't think you would do it. After seeing this, this experience, it looks like. Oh my god. I'm ready to just get out of the way, buddy. <laughs> you need to run. Run far away. So, it's so grainy, like he said. <laughs> yeah, the cranes. He like gets by and it's like, oh, it's just like sod crunch. <laughs> Why is that from? Why is there crunch is in that? there? It just Does just it mix this with sand? <laughs> slow and steady spiraling descending to madness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm losing it. I don't even know what I'm eating anymore. <laughs> We're getting to like where I have to like go hard to squeeze it out. That's good. That's good. We're making progress. So you're going to Noise Originals? Yeah. Are you doing Buster and Buster? No. <laughs> no. Don't make me do it. <laughs>